So you may have just picked up your Apple Pencil and you might be trying to figure out basically a quick introduction on how to use your brand new Apple Pencil that you just bought. Now, it really doesn't matter which Apple Pencil you have, as long as it's compatible with your iPad that you bought, then that's exactly, that's the basically the perfect situation you wanna be in. There are three current Apple Pencils that are available. The Apple Pencil 1, the first gen, the Apple Pencil 2, and then the Apple Pencil USB-C model that I just picked up here. Now I've owned all of them, there's a lots of overlapping features between all of them, but be careful because like I said, if you have the first or second gen Apple Pencil, they are only equipped with certain you know, iPads. If you have the Apple Pencil USB-C, this is I think compatible with every single Apple Pencil or Apple. This is compatible with every single device that's supported with the Apple Pencil 2, but the Apple Pencil 1 supports the iPads with the Lightning ports and I, there's only a certain amount of iPads that are supported with those. So keep that in mind. Now on the exterior of your Apple Pencil, there's a few things to keep in mind. There is a flat side on some of them. The Apple Pencil 2 and the Apple Pencil USB-C has a flat side. The Apple Pencil 1 is completely round. And then you basically have the edge, the tip of this Apple Pencil. On the first gen and Apple Pencil USB-C, this kind of detaches. With the USB-C model, you can charge and connect it via this USB-C port, but the Apple Pencil 2 doesn't support it. Then at the very end, every single Apple Pencil has this tip. Now this tip is very, very important because for every single Apple Pencil user, you may end up being in a situation where this pencil tip will basically have to be replaced. And you can do that by basically twisting this end of this Apple Pencil and basically removing it. So you can just twist it, it comes off just like, you know, standard as you can see, I'm unscrewing it. And then you can take it off and you can replace it. Sometimes if your Apple Pencil is being weird, if it's not calibrating right, you may have to just tighten this a little bit. That's a quick way to kind of fix it. But that is that for this Apple Pencil on the exterior. Super basic setup, there's nothing really crazy. Just the Apple Pencil logo there and just your standard tip and that's basically all you're going to be getting. Now connecting it to your iPad is very basic, but you have to remember that it's different per you know, Apple Pencil that you buy. If you have the Apple Pencil USB-C or the Apple Pencil 2, you can connect it via just plugging it in via the Apple Pencil. So you can plug this in via the USB-C port at the bottom of this iPad, plug it in, and then you have this specific port right here. If you have the Apple Pencil 2, you can also just store it and you can just place it at the very top right here and connect it via that method. If you have the Apple Pencil 1, you plug it in via the lightning port at the bottom of your iPad. Now, if you have the iPads that support the widgets, you'll know that your Apple Pencil is connected because you have this little widget icon right there. So it'll give you this little battery icon and it will show you that your specific iPad is connected and is paired with this Apple Pencil. Very cool thing, very basic thing but that's the very first thing you can kind of check out to make sure your Apple Pencil is connected to your iPad. Now, using it is very, very basic. There's a few things. For one, it uses just like any other stylus. So as long as you put your Apple Pencil onto the display, you can see that everything is working fine and you can do things like opening up applications. You can go ahead and you know go into clock, whatever you wanna do. You can open up any app. Now, weirdly enough, you can't exit out of the app with the Apple Pencil. I've tried this, as you can see, I'm swiping up, nothing happens. I've tried swiping down from the control center, from all these other areas. There's no ways to do it. Unfortunately, you will still have to use your finger in order to actually swipe out of the application. But the big thing that people will probably use your Apple Pencil for is basically with note-taking apps. So we have our notes app right here. You can always open this up and you have a lot of capability with your Apple Pencil. So what you can do is you can go and create a new note. So we can just go up here. And if you wanna start drawing, it's very basic. All you want to do, there's tons of drawing applications available, so you can just always go into whichever one you want. But you can go ahead and draw on it by clicking on this little drawing icon here. This little widget bar will come up at the bottom. It will know you have your Apple Pencil, and you can start drawing. So you can go and start taking notes. You can start typing whatever you want to do. And there's a lots and lots of capability. It also knows, I think, how hard you press and how you know, lightly you're pressing. So it's something that's super, super cool. So this is an application that a lot of people end up using for their Apple Pencils. But it's just an idea. There's tons and tons of ones available. Like I said, I'm pretty sure there's like the pressure sensitive, you know, kind of capability that's going to be happening here too. So there's a lot, a lot of capability with your Apple Pencil just within there. And once again, if you want, you can take notes, you can do all sorts of things with your Apple Pencil. Now with the Apple Pencil 2, you do have this pressure sensitivity right here, where if you double tap at the very bottom base of your Apple Pencil, where the flat side is, you can go ahead and, you know, kind of switch in between tools and so many other things, you can customize it. Unfortunately, the Apple Pencil USB-C doesn't have it, but if you have the Apple Pencil 2, it is supported. Now within the settings application, there's a little bit of capability that we have within our Apple Pencil. So you can go and make your, your way over to your Bluetooth settings. You'll see your Apple Pencil here. 
If you click on the eye, you can always go through and you can always disconnect your you know, Apple Pencil by forgetting this device. There's also some other options you have. Of course, you know, there's tons and tons of capability. And within iPadOS 17, the Apple Pencil actually got some extra support, which is really cool. So if you search up Apple Pencil straight within your search bar up here, you'll basically get into your Apple Pencil setting and you'll see a little bit of capability for your Apple Pencil right here. So you can see a couple things. You can see the battery life of your Apple Pencil, which is right here. You can do only draw with Apple Pencil. So if it's enabled, it will only draw if you're using the Apple Pencil and not using your finger. Right here under Scribble, you can go ahead and use your Apple Pencil quickly to write notes and stuff like that. And you can try Scribble right here. So if you want, you can go and see how it looks like. So trying writing a few words here and it will automatically go ahead and try you know, actually doing it. So we can do this by you know, kind of doing it ourselves. So we can just say, you know, hey, how are you? Now my handwriting is terrible. So it even kind of look, so it even kind of got it, which I'm kind of surprised, but you can do this kind of system wide. So if you actually go through, make your way over here, if there's some sort of search bar, you can kind of do the same thing. Hi, how are you within the search bar right here? And it can go ahead and actually try searching for things like that, which is so cool. So I keep this on. I think it's a pretty cool feature. You can also go ahead and quickly delete words by kind of scribbling it out. So just like here, you can scribble this out. <laughs> no, that didn't work. It's just like so. And it can go and delete it if you go and click delete or whatever. There's also select. So you can select certain words within here too, which is another really cool thing. You can insert stuff and join stuff. So there's a lot of capability here too, which is awesome. Now here you also have your gestures that I think all Apple Pencils support. So you have your left corner swipe. So if you want, if you swipe up from the left corner, you can go and either take a screenshot or you can take a quick note. So if, to, so if I go and take a swipe up from the left corner, you can see it did take a screenshot. So that's something that's honestly really, really cool. And the right corner, you can also do something as well. So if you do the right corner swipe, you can take a quick note. So this is an example of the right corner swipe. If we go and swipe up from the top right corner or the bottom right corner, you'll see we get into this little like note toggle. So you can go and kind of say, you know, you can quickly make a note and say, hi, how are I don't know why I keep saying, hi, how are you? But that's another thing you can do as well. So that's another option that you have. And if you just click done, you can kind of swipe out of here. So those are all the settings that we have within our Apple Pencil right within this you know option. If you swipe up, once again, like I said, there are so many Apple Pencil applications that are supported. So you have basically an unlimited amount of, you know, devices and things you can use with your Apple Pencil for. But keep in mind, Apple Pencils are only supported with your iPads. You can't go ahead and use this thing on like something else. But what I'll tell you is overall, the Apple Pencil is a very, very good choice. I've personally been using my Apple Pencil for a little bit of time and I do enjoy using it. I think it's a great little Apple Pencil and even this USB-C model, which is the cheapest one that they made, is a very, very good option. It's not perfect, but I do think all Apple Pencils have a very, very you know important role in the iPad in the iPad lineup, and I would 100% recommend picking it up for sure. So this was a quick introduction. For most iPads as well, if you want to go ahead and just kind of quickly disconnect it, they should just kind of turn off by themselves automatically when you turn off your iPad. But if you just go ahead and kind of connect it to your iPad just like so, you can go ahead and just have it kind of disconnect for the most part. If you have the Apple Pencil too, it will charge automatically like this as well. So that is a quick introduction on how to use your Apple Pencil. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, tell me so much but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.